All right, peeps. So what we have here is an excess of nitric acid that has been chilled down in ice. I um, mixed the nitric acid with a little bit of water and then heated it up with stirring so that it drove off all of the dissolved nitrogen oxides. And then I think it's like, what is it? Nitrogen dioxide that gives it that color. I'm having a brain fart at the moment. I think that's what it is. Anywho, so all of that has been driven off, and we have nice, clean nitric acid here. It should be in excess, like the textbook says it needs to be. So let's turn on our little stir bar. All right. Everything cool? Now, this is our solution of potassium molybdate that I made from ammonium molybdate, exactly like the textbook described. Um... I'm doing it at one-third scale, so this started out as 10 grams of ammonium molybdate, and it is now potassium molybdate. You just mix it with a stoichiometric amount of potassium hydroxide and then let it stir on heating um, to drive off all the ammonia. Once the ammonia smell is gone, you're done. Um, and by the way, if you try that, don't heat it up too high, or it will start to produce a insoluble white solid. I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is, but it may be molybdenum trioxide. I'm not really sure. It happened yesterday when I was doing it. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> this is our arsenic acid that I made from dissolving arsenic pentoxide into water. And for our arsenic pentoxide, I have this. Yay! It's such a happy, wonderful thing. It's a focused focus. Um, this was sent to me by the gayest person on YouTube. Dude, that is such a... I still love that screen name. Um, so yes, we have a fifth of a kilo of arsenic pentoxide. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. God damn it, it's awesome. And I got some arsenic trioxide too. It's such a happy thing. So, you dissolve arsenic pentoxide in water, you get arsenic acid. All right. Now, we are supposed to add this potassium molybdate to this nitric acid slowly, and in theory, our solution should stay clear. Now, in reality, the problem I've always been having with this is that when you add a molybdate to concentrated nitric acid, you get molybdenum trioxide. So, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but it says that the solution is supposed to stay clear. But all the literature says this shit is not soluble in conch HNO3. I'm not sure. But whatever. We do need to have an excess of acid. That was another thing I think that I was missing. In the textbook, they give a equation for this reaction as 42 molar equivalents of HNO3. And I'm like, okay, well, that must be the excess they're talking about. But I think that's actually the stoichiometric amount. So you want to have more than that. According to atomistry, if the pH is neutral or alkaline, you will not get the right product. It has to be acidic. So here we go. Oops. Let's move this a little closer. All right. There we go. I hope that's showing up well. All right, our potassium molybdate. Okay, we are getting little bits of molybdenum trioxide, but it goes back into solution. I guess we want it to... Is it going into solution, or is it just mixing it up really well and dispersing it? I think it is the latter. Can you guys see that? Here, let's try something different.
Okay, people, that was it. You have to add in the molybdate slowly, drop-wise. Add a couple drops, let all of the solid that forms dissolve. Add a few more drops, let it all dissolve. Keep going and going and going. And if you do that, you do indeed end up with a clear solution. Hot motherfucking damn, we are on the right goddamn track. So, um, let's see. I want you to be able to... S well, wreck my shit here. All right. Let's make sure we can get the color change that's supposed to happen here. If it doesn't happen, I'll be very disappointed. All right. So now we have to add our um, arsenic acid to this. And we should get a yellow compound. Um, okay. Oh, wait, that's right. Duh. I forgot. Can't forget the other part of the protocol. You have got to heat it up now. Yes. Now the protocol says to heat it up to 60 to 70 degrees C. All right. Now, I am going to let that happen, and then I will come back when we hopefully have a nice, beautiful yellow solution and or compound. Fucking shit, people. Look at that, man. It worked. It actually worked. Oh, and it's doing it exactly like the textbook said. It said that as it cooled down, more of it would, even more of it would crystallize out. Oh my god, everything went perfectly. This is exactly like the textbook said it would be. Okay, camera, really? I have been working on this for days. Don't you dare fuck up my triumph, or you will find yourself in a fire like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! It is fucking glorious! Yes! Ah, uh, I have taken on and defeated Yellow Chem once again, and I didn't do it alone. Much, much, much thanks to everybody who gave me some feedback on this fucker. Okay, so, now that I've successfully done it, what was the trick? <laughs> okay, so, the trick is, man, make sure that you've got excess nitric acid. Just to be on the safe side, remove all the um, NO2, all the gases dissolved in it, and get that shit out of there, right? Okay, make sure you've got excess acid. Add the potassium molybdate very slowly, like a few drops at a time, and wait for all of the solid that forms to completely dissolve before you add more. If you do that, nice and slow and gentle, you will end up with a clear solution. Then... It's exactly like the textbook describes. Just add in the arsenic acid, heat it up, and voila, you got your product. It says that um, it will crystallize out on heating up, and then as it cools out, more of it will crystallize down. So, ha, motherfucking damn, man. It worked. That is fucking better than sex. God, that's so fucking awesome. Look at its arsenic -y glory. All right, everyone, there we have it. I have filtered off the potassium salt. You can see it is a beautiful, vivid, brilliant yellow. That is so fucking gorgeous, man. I am so fucking happy this shit worked. I have worked so hard on this motherfucker for days now. I am so 
fucking pleased that I got this, man. Yeah, this is, I, I, I think I'm going to have to give this one and a half chemgasm. So fucking yes, goddamn. Oh, so great. All right. We got it. We got the potassium salt of our polyoxometally. Woo! Oh, that is so wonderful. Look at it in its yellow glory. Yellow chem good. Yay! I, I, I don't know why all these compounds come out to be these, like, brilliant, vivid yellows, guys. I don't go through stuff and, like, you know, oh, there's a yellow one. Let's do that. I swear, it just kind of works out this way. <laughs> Oh, I am so happy. Well, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you just don't appreciate good hard work, do you? Um, subscribe, comment, share the video. Please donate some money. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. God damn it, that is beautiful, man. Oh, it's so nice, man. You make me work for it. But I tell you what, when you got to work for him, the victory is so much more sweet.